Take your time. <laughs> Fernando County Resolution Number 2015, City of Brooksville Resolution Number 2015, Fernando County Board of County Commission and City of Brooksville Joint Resolution Expression Opposition to the Moving of the Southwest Florida Water Management District Headquarters. Whereas on May the 19th, 2015, the Southwest Florida Water Management District announced its plans to move the officially designated headquarters of the district from the Brooksville Tampa Bay Regional Airport in Randall County to Tampa, Florida. Whereas no reference to the intended relocation was included on the published meeting notice, the meeting agenda, or included in a 260-page packet of information accompanying the meeting agenda. And whereas prior to the May the 19th, 2015 meeting, there was no effort by any district governing board member, the district staff, the Florida Department of Environmental Protection staff, or the Office of the Governor to notify, explain, or inform the public, the media, and the governments, or the legislative delegation of the district's northern counties which could be most affected. And whereas the intent to move the district headquarters was purportedly derived from a business plan developed by the district costing over $100,000, and although moving the designation of the district's headquarters to Tampa was not specifically mentioned in the report, justification for doing so was provided by staff at the May, the 19, May 19, 2015 board meeting as follows. <clears throat> Tampa is the most centrally located, providing better access for the governing board and the public. Tampa is now the site for the most governing board meetings. Staff con con <coughs> consolidations have already occurred. There are no immediate plan to move additional staff. Thus, there will be no economic impact upon Hernando County. Tampa is the fastest growing area in the district and has the largest labor pool and majority of district staff will be retiring over the next 10 years, necessitating significant recruitment. And these, uh, to break off from this, these are the reasons that uh, they wanted to move. I disagree with those. <clears throat> Back to the resolution. Whereas at their May 19, 2015 meeting, district staff and the governing board members stressed to the State Senator Simpson and other representatives from Randall County and the City of Brooksville who attended the meeting, there would be no economic impact because consolidation has already occurred involving the substantial number of staff who have already been relocated to Tampa and there are no immediate plans to shift more staff to Tampa. <clears throat> and Whereas, even though the total number of district staff has been reduced from 40 percent since 2010, the district current total annual payroll and benefit package remains about 45 million. And whereas, if only one third of that 45 million has already been moved annually from Randall County, the county surrounding the district's current headquarters and the city of Brooksville by the past relocation of staff to Tampa compounded over 10 years, the direct negative impact would actually be well over $150 million. <clears throat> and several times that amount of impact would be occurring as secondary or indirect impacts attributable to loss of payroll in the Brooksville area. And whereas, before the governing board's relocation of staff over the past last four years, Delivery of the district's statutorily mandated resource management responsibilities was being successfully and effectively carried out at its Brooksville headquarters and three field offices located in the city of Tampa, Bartow, Sarasota for 50 years. And whereas each of these references offices were designated to accommodate meetings of the governing board and the now dismantled basin boards from time to time in order to bring government decision making closer to the affected public throughout the district's 10,000 square mile or 200 mile long area. Whereas moving the headquarters to Tampa, which is approximately 35 miles from its current, loca current Brooksville location, will not result in any more effective delivery of services provided by the district to the affected public throughout the district and will likely cost tens of millions of dollars in order to construct new facilities to house the relocated staff. Whereas Randall County and the city of Brooksville are struggling to recover from the global recession which was substantially depressed, which has substantially 
depressed the local economy for over seven years, and whereas substantial harm, therefore, has already been caused to the local economies of Hernando County, the city of Brooksville, and the surrounding counties by the relocation of substantial member, numbers of the staffs from Brooksville to Tampa, which has already occurred, and whereas the economy harm, which has already occurred as a, as a result, is not a one-time event, but will continue to be compounded from year to year for as long as the impacts are allowed to continue. <clears throat> Whereas the statements by the governing board members and the district staff that there are no immediate plans to relocate additional staff from Brooksville headquarters are not credible based upon slide <clears throat> slides from the district staff at their May 19, 2015 meeting that indicated all well construction permitting staff, all environmental resource permitting staff, all water use permitting staff, all regulatory production and administrative staff, all legal staff and all executive staff would be relocated to the Tampa office and only administrative and field and compliance staff would be left at the Brooksville, Sarasota, and Bartow offices. <coughs> Whereas the district staff proposition that Tampa may be the fastest growing area in the district provides no one <clears throat> national basis for relocating the district's headquarters there because the majority of district staff problematic and press, pressing resource management problems are augmentally not located only in Tampa. Therefore, previous district expenses, experiences have shown that newly graduated and inexperienced engineers are not going to be <clears throat> Guide from applying for reasonable paying jobs with reasonable benefits and retirement programs because those jobs are available 35 miles north of where they are educated. Whereas highly technical vacant positions will be filled not because the Tampa Bay area may be a higher educated labor pool, but because such positions are typically advertised nationwide and are very easily filled or not easily filled from the national labor pool depending upon the level of skill required for the position, the national economy, and the adequacy of the compensation being offered. And whereas annual turnover rate at the district in the five years below before 2011 was low, estimated at 2 to 3 percent due to a stable employment environment, acceptable pay, and benefits, and a high degree of respect enjoyed by the district within the scientific community for the cutting-edge work it is it was doing in a national resource management field at that time. And whereas the statement that 96 percent or 98 percent of the district's workforce will not be lost over the next 10 years because 33.6 percent of the district staff are eligible for retirement within the next five years and the district experiences about 10 percent and sometimes higher turnover rate, that was from the business plan 2015-2020, page 11, is credible only in content and the fact that 40 percent of the staff have been forcibly discharged or forced to retire in the four years since 2011 and the historic advantage of employment at the district such as pay rates and employment stability have been purposely reduced and whereas it is disingenuous to now to know it, use statistics that included the purposefully discharged but the staff and purposely reduce reduction of pay, benefits, and enjoyment stability that has been rendered upon the employees of the district in order to justify moving its headquarters from Brooksville to Tampa. Whereas the headquarters of the Southwest Florida Water Management District has been located at the Brooksville Tampa Bay Regional Airport in Hernando County for over 50 years and represents a substantial and scientific significant investment of public financial resources for its for at least 10 million in the state in the office building and 37 acres of improvements and infrastructure. Whereas no in debt accurate analysis of, <clears throat> of all the costs and benefits associated with such a move of personnel and correspondent construction of new facilities has been completed that would justify the abandonment of an existing 50,000 square foot four-story multi-million dollar state-of-the-art facility and construction of a new facility that will be nothing more than replacement of space being abandoned. 
Whereas there is no credible evidence that the district headquarters located in Brooksville has led to or will lead to any inability to recruit and retain quality professional staff. <coughs> staff resources, particularly given the ample highway network now linking the northern region of the district with the Tampa Bay area. Whereas the actual driving time to Brooksville from Tampa for those living in Tampa and working in Brooksville is comparable to the time it takes to drive from West Tampa to East Tampa during morning and afternoon rush hours. Whereas if the staff reasoning pertaining to educated labor pools for the removal of the district headquarters from Brooksville to Tampa were valid, then the same reasoning would be used to justify the removal of the St. Johns River Water Management District from Palatka to Jacksonville, or Jacksonville University, or or Orlando University of Central Florida, removal of the Swanee River Management Basin headquarters from Live Oak to Gainesville, removal of the Northwest Water Management District headquarters from Havana to Tallahassee, and removal of the Southwest Florida Water Management Districts from West Palm Beach to Coral Gables. Now, for, therefore, be it resolved by Hernando County Board of County Commission and the City of Brooksville City Council, Section 1, the Governing Board of the Southwest Florida Water Management District is hereby strongly urged to maintain, to maintain its official headquarters at its existing Brooksville office located at 2379 Broad Street, Brooksville, Florida, now and into the, and, and into the future. And Section 2, that the Governing Board of the Southwest Florida Water Management District maintain the headquarters at a proportionate overall level of the district staff resources that will effectively serve the water source management needs of the northern region of the district that will provide all centralized functions of the district for the remaining parts of the 16-county district area and which fully demonstrates that the Brooksville office is the functional official headquarters of the Southwest Florida Water Management District. Section 3, that the district reestablish the full complement of district services functions and purposes that were located at the existing Brooksville headquarters before 2010. Section 2, copies of this resolution shall be, be provided to all members of the district governing board, the governor, speaker of the house, president of the senate, all members of the district's legislative delegation and delegations that may have interest in this matter. The Pasco County Board of County Commission, the Lake County Board of County Commission, Marion County Board of County Commissioners, Sumter County Board of County Commissioners, Citrus County Board of County Commissioners, Levy County Board of County Commissioners, as well as, as well as councils and commissions of each of the municipal city governments located in those counties. Section 5, this resolution shall become effective immediately upon its adoption. And Chairman, I request this be adopted this regular day of uh, commission. Okay, let's uh, let's wait for the motion. And uh, I know Miss Kale is here. You want to come forward and say anything? Mr. <coughs> Vergara, you want to say anything? Too. Chairman, Mr. The Mayor's here also. Oh, I didn't see the Mayor. All right, Mayor, you want to come forward? I didn't see you sitting over there. <laughs> Good morning, Commissioners. We come before you today to ask of your cordial Could you introduce yourself, please? Yeah. Frank Burnett, City of Brooksville. Thank you. I said I've known about on that one. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we come before you this morning to ask of the cordial assistance of the Board of County Commissioner to jointly go along with the City of Brooksville uh, signing this wonderful resolution in keeping the South Water Management District headquarters here in Hernando County. As you have listened to and heard the reading of the resolution, it was well put together. We gathered all of the facts, we dotted all of the I's, and we crossed it all of the T's. And we think that it is uh, very important that we do uh, keep that here. On yesterday, the city of Brooksville 
City Council called a special meeting to adopt this resolution to ensure that it would be able to come over here to the Board of County Commissioners this morning so that you could go along and sign also. Also, it is our understanding that all other counties, municipalities, towns, and cities within this district would be uh, going to, uh, doing a resolution also on the behalf to keep the headquarters uh, here in Brooksville. So listening to the lengthy, well put together, very well put together, in fact, I enjoyed it, so I ended up reading it three times to make sure because I'm a critic, a writer, uh, <laughs> it was uh, what we needed to do. But we did um, had a sign, council member, member Kaler, to go down to the meeting in Tampa to <clears throat> kind of uh, 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 with a written statement from us from the city of Brooksville asking them to hold off on their decision that they was going to make, and it was other people that was involved. But we certainly want to uh, thank Attorney Joe Mason, who brought this before us, that it was something that uh, people was doing up under the table, and we were not aware of it, and brought it to us. And uh, we spent the night putting something together, and uh, Council Member Kaler uh, went down and uh, uh, presented the information, but we certainly would like to have your court system in going on a joint venture with the city of Brooksville uh, of signing this. So at this time, we would have Council Member Kaler to give one or two statements. Natalie Kaler, Brooksville City Council. Um, good morning to all of you, and thank you for allowing us to speak this morning. Um, there is a large portrait in your lobby here of Alfred McKeithen with a placard underneath it that says Citizen of the Century. And uh, Brooks civilians were smart enough to uh, come up with the idea of the district. And we have been smart enough to staff the district for over 50 years. And we still have the resources, the human resources, to be able to staff this well. And uh, I think that this sends a strong um, message to the district that we are qualified and willing and determined to keep the district uh, headquarters here. And, uh, you know, it is just as no person exists uh, as an island, no business is an island. And uh, it's not just about the specific Swift Mud jobs, but also the restaurants that they eat at for lunch. We want them eating in Hernando County and not in Tampa. Uh, we want them using our gas stations. We want their kids in our schools. And um, so this is not just about those jobs that have already migrated, um, which we do want back, but also just about keeping that, um, that here for our county. It's been very successful all this time, and we believe that it needs to continue. So thank you for your partnership. Thank you. Is there anyone else? Mr. Kimbrough, do you want to say something? <clears throat> Mr. Chairman, <coughs> excuse me, Jim Kimbrough, uh, this resolution that you've just heard was uh, prepared uh, by uh, under the flag of Hernando Progress and I serve as an officer and director of Hernando Progress. Our president nor chairman could be here at this moment and the members of Hernando Progress which is a nonprofit economic development organization with Lacucci River Electric, Duke Energy, CMEX, Buckner and Associates, Centennial Bank, Proud Pelican Construction, Tampa Electric Company, Bright House, Hospital Corporation of America, Bayfront Hospitals, Coastal Engineering Associates, and SunTrust. <clears throat> a small group of half a dozen people or so worked diligently for some two to three weeks to prepare this resolution because it is all about jobs, jobs, jobs. I believe the, it would be correct to say that Swift Mud has been, for some 53 years now, one of the largest employers in this county and also offering some of the 
the best jobs available to the residents of this county and, and surrounding counties. So it is critically important, we believe, for you all to do what the city did yesterday and adopt this resolution so that it can be delivered timely to the Swift Mud Governing Board and to many other people. Post the adoption by the city and the county, uh, there will be a group of people that will be making contact with the other counties and municipalities, the Chambers of Commerce, and the EDCs in those geographies that are mentioned in this resolution, requesting their support for this, these two resolutions, the joint resolution. So, Mr. Chairman and, and uh, Commissioners, uh, we respectfully request your adoption so that we can move forward to hopefully retain this employer in Hernando County. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Mr. Cambrill. Mr. Vergara? Thank you, Mr. Chairman, uh, uh, members of the, of the Commission. Um, as a uh, former director of the Southwest Florida Water Management District and, uh, even more importantly, a, a resident of this county since 1948, uh, I can tell you uh, the Southwest Florida Water Management District is probably one of the most important employers that you have here in the county, not just because of of the number of people that are out there, but because of the level of education it takes to run that organization. It's highly technical. You have a lot of PhD doctors, engineers, uh, hydrologists, and the biologists, and, uh, and on and on. So it's an important and clean employee employer uh, opportunity for the county. And if you had the opportunity to bring it in, not have it, not have it now, but to bring it in, we would be jumping through circles trying to get it here. And uh, to see it leave is just a tragedy. Now, the resolution says all that needs to be said. You've had people here telling you how important it is, and, uh, and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll let that stand for itself. But I am, let me tell you, this being my county, I'm very proud. Uh, I've been raised in uh, this, this county and the city. I'm very proud of the city for having passed that resolution. I, I recommend it strongly to you. And, and as we sit here today, listening to the concerns of the people that are here, and I know the concerns that you have, I am very, very proud of this county. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Is there anyone else in the audience who would like to say anything? Anyone? No? Okay. Ms. Rodney? Yes, and thank you. Um, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank um, Sonny Vergara for, first of all, bringing this to the attention. I think um, somehow he found out and was able to get the information over the weekend before the meeting at Southwest Florida Water Management District in Tampa, and that way um, the city was able to come up with a resolution. And when I uh, saw the information, I um, contacted our administrator and said I'd be happy to go down to that meeting and was at the meeting and spoke to the board telling them, you know, that um, along with Senator Simpson and the city of Brooksville that um, this was not in the best interest of the district or Hernando County. And I'd like to also really reach out and thank um, Senator Wilton Simpson for being there, and he had um, everything that's been going on in Tallahassee, but, you know, he took the time and um, the dedication to his district to go speak to the um, Southwest Water Florida Management District, and I think that was one of the deciding factors, too, um, to go ahead and at least postpone their decision on that day. But um, I think that, you know, we work very hard, um, and our administrator does as um, our business development director out there trying to bring in business. But we need to work equally as hard to maintain good business in Hernando County, and, and this is very good business. And I have to tell you that my um, son and my daughter-in-law both worked at the district for about five or six years and uh, got a, a lot of great experience, and um, it's, it was kept them in Hernando County, but unfortunately they're in New Hampshire now. So, But uh, it, was, it was a great um, <coughs> business for people to work in, and it needs to stay in Hernando County. And thank you for all that you've done. Thank you, Jim, for your hard work. I know that you worked very hard on putting, helping put the, this together. It was a lengthy. So thank you. Too. Appreciate it. <laughs> yes, and uh, you know we had we had a meeting here 
uh, with the, the head of SwiftBun and uh, another gentleman. And we talked about a lot of things that, that are in this resolution. And it's, it's a very lengthy resolution. But, you know, it starts out with uh, stating why they want to move and the reasons for moving. And then this resolution very precisely and succinctly shows why those reasons are such a fallacy and so wrong. And uh, it, it does an absolutely excellent job showing that there is no reason to move the headquarters, absolutely no reason whatsoever. And to use the fact that they have to hire people from Tampa is just absurd, just totally absurd. So this resolution does a great job. Now, we're ready to have a motion. Mr. Atkins makes the motion. Mr. Rodden, second. the second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Now, Jim, go ahead and finish. Adopted? Oh. Let's <laughs> <laughs> uh, find the right page on this. <laughs> Last page. Yeah. All right. Okay, thank you. This, this uh, resolution was adopted in regular session this date, 2015, Fernando County Board County Commission, and, and yesterday's date into City of Brooksville Council. Signed by all five commissioners and attested by uh, Don Barbie. Ms. Figueroa? I think, I think, Jim, do you want to go down there and uh, present the resolution? Uh, I don't know who wants to accept it on behalf. No? Not me. We <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. We're okay. All right. Go ahead. Mr. Chairman, thank you. Uh, I just wanted to reiterate just a little bit, and I should have uh, included in my remarks uh, what uh, Commissioner Rodden was talking about in terms of your legislative delegation. Uh, you can be very proud of uh, Blaze and Golia and, uh, and uh, Senator Simpson for stepping up as they did. Uh, there was a, a news release out that came out from their offices saying that they were taking the position officially against this, uh, this concept, and, I, and that should be on the record. And I think that what you're going to see is a coming together of, of the delegation and a continued effort through time to make sure that if it happens, and we don't know that it's going to happen until perhaps next meeting, that's when they, they gave us 60 days. So if it happens in that meeting, uh, then we're going to see the legislative delegation get strong and do what they need to do. Thanks, sir. And, uh, Mr. Vergara, I'm, gl I'm, glad you brought, I'm glad you brought that up because, uh, you know, all the municipalities and, and counties and boards and whatever can pass all the resolutions they want to pass. But when it comes right down to it, who really has the power exactly. to stop this? Who is that? Well, it's our senator and our representative. And they have both been involved in this. Uh, senator Simpson has been heavily involved in this. I've talked to him myself. And, and, and I'm glad you brought that up. Because when it gets right down to it, those are the decision makers. And again, uh, we need to pass these resolutions so we can support them, obviously, uh, so they know that the people back home, the people where the headquarters actually is, is supporting their efforts to stop this, and they are working to stop it. So uh, we have a great representative and a great senator. So I'm, gr I'm glad you brought that up. Well said, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. All right. Mr. Dukes? We need 10 minutes. Uh, let's take a 10-minute break. <laughs>